Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about log test. Okay, now why log test? Right. Now we know that right now the parts of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, these are under the attack of log test. Right. And also, according to the alerts issued by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, right. So India will witness more severe log test attack by the end of June and also on the in the month of July. So that's why it was in news recently. Okay, now it was also there in uh, news earlier also because there were lots of locust attack in the Rajasthan region, right? So that's why it was also there in the news earlier. Okay, now what is this locust, right? So you can see the picture there. Locusts are the short horned grasshoppers. They are short horned grasshoppers with highly migratory habitat. So they are having highly migratory habitat with uh, and they are marked with polymorphism. They are having, they are exhibiting the phenomenon called as polymorphism and voracious feeding behavior. Okay. So, these are the features or characteristics of locust. They are short horned grasshoppers with highly migratory habitat marked with polymorphism and voracious feeding behavior. Right. So, that is called as locust. So, it is a kind of insect. Okay. Now, these locusts are capable of forming swarms. Swarms means group. Okay. Uh, adults congregation. It is a group of this locust. Right. So, swarms means a large or dense group of some species. Here, this locust. Right. So, swarms means adults congregation or a large or dense group of this insects is called as swarms. So, they are capable of forming swarms and hopper bands. Now, hopper or nymph means they are in they are locust without wings. It is a stage in their life cycle. So, hopper and nymphal is a stage in their growth stage. Okay. That means it does not have wings and that is called as hopper. So, they can also form hopper bands or nymphal congregation. Hopper bands. Here the bands mean mass of hoppers which move as a unit. So, hopper bands means mass of hoppers which move as a unit. Okay. So, simply hopper bands means a group, a large group of these hoppers. Hoppers means uh, the locust without wings. Okay. So, they are capable of forming swarms and hopper bands. Now, this locust, they can cause great devastation to natural as well as cultivated vegetation. Right. So, you can see here, they can flare up any time to inflict heavy damage to the crops and that may lead to national emergency of food and fodder. Because, you can see, they are having voracious feeding behavior. So, they will eat up all the vegetation, all the cultivated as well as natural vegetation. Okay. So, thereby it can even lead to national emergency of food and fodder. So, since it is having that much effect on the vegetation or agriculture, India has a locust control and research scheme. And that is implemented through the locust warning organization. Okay. So, India is having a locust control research scheme which is implemented through the locust warning organization. Right. So, we need to know about locust warning organization also. Okay. So, locust warning organization which is under the Union Agriculture Ministry and which is headquartered in Jodhpur. The Locust Warning Organization or shortly LWO's responsibility is monitoring and control of the locust situation in scheduled desert areas mainly in Rajasthan and Gujarat and partly in Punjab and Haryana. That is the main responsibility of LWO. Monitoring and control of the locust situation in uh, desert regions. Okay. And also they are aiming at Locust Warning Organization is aimed to detect the local breeding in scheduled desert areas and incursion of exotic locust swamps into India. Right. So, these are the main responsibility and aim of Locust Warning Organization. Okay. So, you also need to know about this aim and their responsibility. They can ask questions regarding Locust Warning Organization. Okay. Now, let us discuss about the current situation in India. Right. Now, to control the locust attack in India, Locust control authorities are using either sprayer mounted on a vehicle or drawn for an aerial sprinkling. So, the locust control authorities are using a, uh, a sprayer mounted vehicle or drones. Okay. But these are not that much efficient. The most efficient method is using a helicopter. Okay. And spraying the chemicals. But we are not using the helicopters. Why? Because we don't have ultra light vehicle right now. Okay. Ultra light vehicle spraying it. Right. So, currently we do not have ultralight vehicle spraying it which is specially made and fitted on the 
both sides of the helicopter and why we are not having it is there is only one up based company in in india which manufactures ULV spraying kit ULV means ultralight vehicle okay so there is only one uh, up based company in india which is making which is manufacturing the ULV spraying kit for the helicopters okay but because of the lockdown they are not able to manufacture the parts right so that's why we are currently in this situation we, we are not able to use the uh, ultralight vehicle spraying kit in the helicopters okay so because of the lack of this ultralight vehicle uh, spraying kit we are currently using the uh, sprayer mounted vehicle and drones okay now the disadvantages of this uh, sprayer mounted vehicle and drone are even with the full pressure a sprayer mounted vehicle cannot take the chemical for more than 15 feet high in the air okay it cannot take more than 15 feet high in the air right because it can move up to that height only with that much weight okay but the locust they can fly higher and rest on the top of the tall trees up to around 30 feet of height okay so that's why this prayer mounted vehicle is not that much efficient right and a drone can take 5 to 10 liters of chemicals at one go and it can fly only for 15 to 20 minutes that means it have to be recharged after that flight right so that's also expensive and time consuming right so if you're having a huge population and if you need to uh, spray thousands of liters of chemicals we cannot rely on the drones right so that's why helicopter is the most potent weapon against the locust attack okay and there is one another suggestion which is given by the scientist that locust rest at the night on trees and bushes okay and that's the right time to spray chemicals on them so if you are using the drones and uh, sprayer mounted vehicles with the absence of this ultralight vehicle we can spray the chemicals at night okay that will be much more better okay so this is the current situation of india right now let us discuss the question with reference to locust sometimes seen in the news consider the following statements they are insects having migratory habitat and voracious feeding behavior so we discussed about that right so they are having highly migratory habitat and voracious feeding behavior and also we discussed about they are having polymorphism they are exhibiting polymorphism right so that's why first statement is correct so we eliminated b and c now we come to know that second is correct from the remaining option a and d is having two in their option right that means they are capable of forming swarms that also we discussed right it is capable of swarms and also uh, hope uh, hopper bands right so second statement is correct so just go for the third statement only right even though they have potential for inflicting heavy damage to the crops leading to national emergency of food and fodder india still doesn't have any institutional mechanism to deal with it that's a wrong statement because india is having an organization called as locust warning organization right and also it is having locust control and research scheme which is implemented through uh, locust warning organization so that's why it is having an institutional mechanism right so that's why third statement is wrong so here we will get the answer as a one and two only okay so you need to study about the locust warning organization thoroughly okay thank you